now let us discuss about the methods of the string object the first method is carry at of index method it is useful in order to return the character yet a specified index let us see with the help of an example where uh, let name of the string is str where str is equal to javascript javascript next document dot document dot write off what is the name of the string str dot carry at of carry at of we need to specify the index so let us give index as 3 3 so what is the character at our index 0 means j a means 1 v means 2 3 means a so we will get output as a so let us run the program let us run the program so if you see here here, here the output is a a is the output okay uh, if you display in uh, 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 header tags then what will happen is uh, it will be displayed in uh, larger font sizes so let us display in uh, some header tags header tags h1 h1 next to close the h1 tag so that the content will be displayed in uh, larger font sizes okay so let us run the program now so a is the output so now let us see the next method the next method is uh, care code yet of index it returns unicode value unicode means ascii value ascii value of the character yet a specified index a specified index so let us see with the help of an example uh, let us work with the same example uh, so care code yet so let us use uh, code yet code yet of 3 so what is the ascii value of small a the ascii value of the small a is 97 so we will get 97 as the output so let us run the program let us run the program so there is small mistake so let us analyze that mistake so str dot care care code in code c is uppercase letter why because here the naming conventions means method means first letter is lowercase and the every inner word starts with the uppercase letter okay let us save the program and run the program so 97 is the output okay now let us see the next method next method is concat method it is useful for concatenating two strings in order to join two strings. So let us see an example. Here we have str. Uh, let us take one more string where str1 is equal to uh, welcome. Welcome. Let us have uh, programming. 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 Okay. So now let us do the concatenation. str1 dot concat. So str1 dot concat of s2 so the, what is the second string the second string is let us have uh, uh, str2 so str dot str1 dot 2 the first string is str whereas the second string is str2 str2 str dot concat of str2 now str2 will be appended at the end of str so we will get output as javascript programming so let us run the program so javascript programming is the output okay now let us see the next method uh, concat is over the next method is from care code method uh, it converts a list of ascii values into a string containing the corresponding characters so here we have to use string string object okay uh, let us run the program now here we have to use string only whereas in the previous methods in all the methods we use as name of the string object but here we have to use string only okay control c so let us run the program now so string dot string dot from care code of 97 98 99 so the ascii values of 97 98 99 is nothing but abc small abc ascii values so we will get small abc as the output so we need to supply ascii values it will produce characters the corresponding characters as the output so let us observe the output abc is the output okay now let us see the next method next method next method is index of method 
So by using index of method, we can search for the first occurrence of the substring in the main string. Okay, we can search for the first occurrence of the substring in the main string. Okay, uh, so let us take the first example only. Where str is equal to JavaScript. So document dot write ln of. So what is the name of the st object string object? str dot index of index of index of we need to supply two arguments substring comma index okay so let the substring is let the substring is uh, uh, a is the substring a is the substring if you don't specify any index then what will happen is from the starting index onwards it will search us okay it will search us so first uh, first zeroth index will be searched next to first index will be searched so one so here a occurred at first index so we will get output as yes, one one so let's check whether output is correct or not. So we got output as yes, one. So in, now let us do, uh, give some index. Comma, comma, let us give two. So two means from the second index onwards, the searching will start. Okay. So at the third index, we have A. So now we will get output as, yes. we will get output as yes, third index. So three is the output. Okay. So likewise, we can use index out method. Next, we have last index out method. So last index out method is also similar to the index out method, but it will search us from the last index onwards, last index onwards. So here use the uh, last index of method str dot last index of index of a comma. Don't give any index so that uh, uh, the searching will start from the last index. So from the last index onwards. So we will get this a as the output. So this a index is nothing but three. So there is no change in the output. Okay. There is no change in the output. So we will get three as the output only. So three as the output. Okay. So this is about uh, str dot uh, last index, last index out method. Uh, let us see the next method. The next method is slice method. It returns a substring from the uh, starting index to the ending index minus one. Start index to the end index minus one. Okay. So str dot slice of we need to supply starting index. So let the starting index is 0, 0, comma, end index minus 1. Uh, let us assume that we want to uh, retrieve up to V, up to V. So V means here what is A index? A index means 3. So we need to supply 3 as the argument. So from 0 to 2, we will get the output. So that means we will get JAV as the output. Okay. JAV as the output. JAV as the output. So this is about uh, slice method. Now let us see about the next method, substring method. It is also similar to the slice method. Okay. So there is no difference between uh, slice and substring. So if we use substring also, we will get uh, same output, substring. We will get same output. So there is no change in the output. So JAV is the output. Now let us see the next method. Let us see the next method. The next method is uh, uh, sub str sub str here the first argument is starting index whereas the second argument is length length so how many characters so it returns a string containing length characters so how many characters we want to return okay uh, so if we specify 0 comma 4 0 comma 4 then what will happen from 0th index onwards 4 characters so 4 characters means we will get java as the output we will get java as the output Okay, so Java is the output. Okay, now let us see the next method. The next method is uh, split method. It is useful in order to split the given string into an array of strings, tokens, based upon the delimiter. So by default, space will be considered as the delimiter. So within the double quotations, we need to give some blank space. Okay, uh, let us uh, see some example. Uh, str dot slice of split, split method. So split of I'm sorry, this is which method? Uh, yeah, this is. Slice is already over. So slice means it returns a, a substring from that uh, starting index to the end index minus one. So this is split method. So we can split uh, an array of strings based upon the delimiter. So a dot split off. So we need to specify based upon the delimiter. So based upon which delimiter we want to split, okay? So here, based upon space, we want to split. So between Java and script, we, we have a space. So now Java will become one string, script will become another string. 
So we will get output as Java comma script. Java comma script. So if you observe the output, Java comma script is the output. Okay. Uh, likewise, uh, we can give uh, any delimiter. Uh, next one is uh, to lowercase. It is useful in order to convert uh, the string uh, into the lowercase characters. Suppose if the string already contains uh, lowercase characters, then there is no change. Next one is uppercase. So these two are the last two methods. So let us work with uh, those two methods. So str dot str dot to uppercase to uppercase to uppercase. Okay. Let us uh, remove these uh, spaces. Control S. So let us run the program. Now all the lowercase characters will be converted into the uppercase. If you observe the output here, all are converted into uppercase. Okay. Uh, next, uh, instead of upper, use lower now. Use lower. If we use lower, what will happen is uh, then all the uppercase characters will be converted to the lowercase. If the string already contains lowercase, then there is no change. So script already in lowercase. So there is no change. Whereas Java means uppercase. So the Java will be converted into the lowercase. Okay. So this is about uh, uh, string and uh, string object methods in JavaScript.